and the disgraced former entertainer Rolf Harris, uh, you may remember he was jailed uh, a few years ago, has died aged 93. He was found guilty of a string of indecent assaults between 68 and 86 following his trial back in 2014. He went to jail for five years and nine months where he was sentenced for that. He was released from prison in 2017, never apologised to his victims before his crimes came to light, of course. He'd been a firm fixture of family entertainment. It hardly got any bigger than Rolf Harris. Kevin O'Sullivan, talk TV presenter, of course, and a man who knows his way around what's on our tellies, past and present. Um, it's interesting, Kev, because I don't think I've ever found myself in a position, I don't know about yourself, where uh, lots of people have died when we've been on air, from the Queen to, you know, all manner of other celebrities. Uh, but somebody like this... Uh, I, it, it's it's notable because he was notorious in the end, uh, but this man was once very famous and very well liked, arguably right up there, Premier League stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, for for his poor wife and his daughter, uh, we sympathise. But uh, if it's possible to celebrate a man's death, Rolf Harris is one such person. Uh, the man was a monster. I mean, among his victims, uh, for sixteen years. He secretly preyed on his little daughter's best friend. Mm. Uh, that's as well as other underage kids. One of his victims was an eight-year-old female autograph hunter who he sexually abused. He raped these children. Uh, he did it secretly. He used his position of power and celebrity over many decades to prey on sex, his sexual victims. Uh, he was a disgrace, an absolute disgrace, uh, and frankly, uh, the world is a better off place without him. And it's interesting, isn't it, that w w part of the sort of MO, as I think the, the term is, Kev, on, on these things, is that these people tend not to think anything, they've done anything wrong. And that's the, the bit. It, there was never any apology. Uh, when he went to jail or when he came out of jail, he never said, look, I've served my time, I, I don't know w why, but I'm sorry what had Nothing, no, absolutely nothing at all. The thing is, he Rolf Harris came over from Australia, his native Australia, way back in the 50s. Uh, so, you know, he's 93 years old. He dates back a long, long time. He dates back to the times when men of a certain age uh, saw it as almost a matter of pride that they fancied kids who were 14 and 13. There are all these horrible stories of him driving past schools and saying to his mates, oh, look at that one, you know. I mean, this man uh, was the definition of a paedophile, uh, but he didn't just uh, limit his victims to pedo to young uh, underage victims. I mean, he, he wasn't fussy with who he sexually abused. Mm. Uh, personal stories about him uh, I knew a story of uh, someone who I knew personally who we met at a party uh, and asked uh, to pose for him because he was a very talented artist uh, she went to his home thinking it's Rolf Harris off the telly what could possibly go wrong uh, she got there next thing she knew she woke, woke up unconscious uh, he wow. fed her drugs she went unconscious and he sexually abused her uh, out of respect for my friend, I didn't do that story, uh, but that was just one story that never got yeah. published. Uh, this man uh, was an outrage, an absolute outrage, uh, and thank God he's gone. Yeah, I remember somebody telling me they were working, I think it was on somebody like Steve Wright's show or whatever, and this was before the man was arrested but there was a obviously this moment in time a few years ago kev which we all remember the whole jimmy saddle stewart hall story and various others uh, were suddenly coming to light max clifford and the like um, and somebody mentioned i remember people sort of almost jokingly saying oh please not rolf harris but let's hope that you know rolf's not one of these people because he was so such a loved entertainer he was a bit quirky he was a bit odd uh, but he did the kids tv stuff he was an adult entertainer as well gifted artist so people would regularly say that let's uh, we don't want it to be rolf and a friend of mine that was working as a sort of a greeter when the guest came in and um, he'd come in and she went to hug him and she said instead of just the sort of Sorry, he went to hug her instead of a handshake. Um, and his hands went inside her yeah, coat and all round her back. And it wasn't like she'd never met this man in her life. And she's used to greeting famous people who would normally shake your hand and say, nice to meet you. And she would say, this is the way the studios are. Your interview is at two or whatever. Uh, but he was hands all over the place. And then yeah, shortly he... after that, all of these stories came out. 
He was notorious. I mean, before his conviction in 2014, I mean, I used to do a lot of telly. Uh, uh, I've met him several times, uh, been on sh the same shows as him. He was notorious among female television staff for yeah. being, you know, the original lech, as you say, couldn't shake hands with a woman, uh, would always fondle them. Uh, yeah, so he, he saw women as something to be preyed upon, uh, but worth noting that he was able to get away with this just like jimmy savile because of the sheer magnitude of his celebrity he yeah. was an incredibly famous successful television star and singer for nigh on five decades uh you know so famous so ingrained in uh respectable society yep. that for the queen's 80th birthday back in 1995 he was called to buckingham palace to paint her official portrait yeah. that's how far he got his tentacles into what you might call polite society and he used that as a front i mean i i grew up i'm of that age i grew up where rolf harris was the primary kids entertainer on telly and i still remember those amazing i mean those paintings he did with the big paintbrush and can you guess yeah. what it is yeah yeah the you final, wouldn't know till the end would you stroke. what he's yeah. done it was brilliant absolutely brilliant the final stroke of the brush and the picture suddenly made sense it was a remarkable talent i've never seen anyone else do it ever yeah uh plus he went on to make animal shows and various other shows and you'll never guess it and you'll never guess a program he made in 1985 with his own company sold it to the australian broadcasting corporation it was called kids can say no it was a, a, an advice program wow. about what kids should do uh, should they be preyed upon by predatory ad wow. adults? You can't, you can't make that This is the up. level of his hypocrisy yeah. as well. Now, he was the guy that used to do swimming information films, I've just remembered as well, uh, you know, teaching, making sure that kids stayed safe in the pool as well. Yeah. Um, and I, I can remember as a as a, a child, he, he turned on the Christmas lights in Ashford and so many people turned up, Kev, that oh. Ashford police had to enlist. I think Canterbury and Maidstone old Bill had to show up. There were tens of thousands, and he stood in the high street on the back of a truck doing one of those paintings, ready to switch the lights on. He probably paid about 30 grand for this, or whatever it was. There was so much. My mum was going to pass out. It was terrifying. It was like the Bay City Rollers had turned up into town. This guy was a yeah. rock star entertainer in, about as famous as it gets. Yeah, he really was. Uh, at, at one point, probably, you know, one of the handful of uh, five or six people are the most famous people in Britain. Yeah. I mean, Rolf Harris still now, there'll be people all over the country go, oh, Rolf Harris, Rolf Harris. I mean, he, he, it, the, the uh, heights that he hit were extraordinary uh, because he was very talented. I mean, he was a talented singer, he was a talented composer, a brilliant artist, a damn fine TV presenter. Yeah. But all of that masked this uh, diabolical, dark, true self that was the real Rolf Harris. Indeed. And again, the television industry, the BBC, the ITV, uh, they all have to look to themselves and start asking questions. You know, they knew about Rolf Harris. I mean, I knew things about Rolf Harris. People talked about him, just like they did with uh, Jimmy Savile, and it was all, oh, well, you know, it's, it's Jimmy, don't mention that. Yeah. Uh, he's doing we'll Fix It next week. Oh, you know, he's doing Rolf Harris draw, draw, painting with Rolf Harris next week. So they turn a blind eye to this, and yep. for this... Uh, and there are other people as well. There's at least one other person right in the frame right now, uh, still in action, who I can't name for legal reasons, but, who is doing the same damn thing. Yeah. This television industry protects people like Rolf Harris, and indeed. it still hasn't got out of that nasty habit. Uh, indeed. Kev, thank you very much indeed for that. Kevin O'Sullivan with us here on Talk TV.